And we are honoring the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. this morning on the 50th anniversary of his, of his assassination. And joining us now are his son, Martin Luther King III, his wife, Andrea, and their nine-year-old daughter, Yolanda, from Memphis, Tennessee. And I want to say thank you all so much for joining us on a, I'm sure it is a hectic day for you all. Thank you. And Martin, and Martin, I, I want to start with you. Your father fought so much for racial equality. And what would, you, what would he say, in your opinion, about the state of race relations today? Well, first of all, I thank you for the question. I don't know that anybody can say exactly what he would say, but he certainly had and talked about eradicating the triple evils of poverty, racism, militarism, and violence. And when we look at the state of race relations, we've made dramatic progress in 50 years but we're nowhere near where we need to be. And I think he'd be disappointed with some of the discourse that we see, but he'd be very excited to see these student-led movements, high school student-led movements. He'd be very excited about the Me Too movement. He'd be very excited about what Black Lives Matter are doing. All of these are nonviolent movements. Uh, and he would know that we as a nation can, must, and will do better. And his dream lives on, as you said, Martin. And Yolanda, your, your daughter, Yolanda, you're nine years old, and you're following in your grandfather's footsteps. You gave a speech at the March for Our Lives event. We're going to take a quick look at that. My grandfather had a dream that his four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that enough is enough. What do, you, what do you think your grandfather would say about what you said? Well, I think that he would, he would be in like, he would be impressed about all the work that we're doing, but we're not where we're supposed to be. And, um... What? I... Well, I tell you what, you know what? It, it, it's okay, my dear, because you said all you need to say in front of that big crowd, and everybody got your message loud and clear. And Andrea, <laughs> Andrea and, and Martin, really quickly, was it hard for you just the thought of Yolanda going in front of, the, in front of that big crowd? You know, it, it was a bit um, difficult, but because she has been so interested um, in the issue for so long and so passionate about it um, and wanted to do it, 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 was, it was natural. We, um, we really and the way in which she... she... Well, we lost our feed there. Apologies to the King family, but really appreciate them for being here with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.